I'm John Walsh, host of America's Most Wanted, and you're watching The Missing with my friend Scott Davis. Welcome to the missing, your host is Scott Davis This is for the kids, I know they just want to live So you can have a piece of my heart, I'm willing to give But you love all races, no matter what the case is Welcome to the missing, your host is Scott Davis The Missing is brought to you in part by Quiznos of Crossville and Hughes Real Estate Services Hello everyone and welcome to the 25th episode of The Missing. I'm your host Scott Davis and I want to say thank you so much for joining us. Yes, you heard me correctly, 25 episodes right here on the World Wide Web and it's due to viewers just like you that brought us to where we are. Over the last 24 episodes we've covered the cases of missing children from right here in the United States and worldwide. We've also had the opportunity to bring to you safety tips on how you can protect your children and your families. As I focused on this episode, I thought, what can I do different? 25 episodes, that's an anniversary of sorts. But I thought to myself, and I prayed about it, the focus of the missing is to help gain exposure for missing children. So why variant from that just because we're on our 25th episode? This is not our last episode by any means. We're going to continue to broadcast and continue to gain exposure for missing children because of viewers like you helping us do so. So I'm going to take the opportunity and we're going to focus on some cases and show you the photographs of missing children that we've covered their cases up to this point. And hopefully you can look at them just one more time and have that opportunity to bring these children home safely. If you're a new viewer to our program and this is your first episode, it'll give you the opportunity to see what we've been doing up to this point and show you the cases that you could possibly help us solve. Also, I'd like to take the opportunity in this episode to thank our sponsors and our advertisers that have come on board to allow us to provide this platform to gain exposure for missing children and to provide this platform to you, our viewers, on the World Wide Web. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into this episode of The Missing. The question I received the most on our show is, is how do you pick a child to help gain exposure for on The Missing? Well, I look at it from two standpoints. One is a media standpoint, and since I work in law enforcement, I've worked with law enforcement agencies throughout the country on missing children's cases, what are their criteria? Now, what I mean by that is, is that in certain cases that investigators and investigating bodies may not share all the information they have with the media or the general public. Due to the fact that they may know who the alleged abductor is, they may know what their next plans are, and they may know exactly where they're at. And by gaining exposure for that missing child may scare that abductor or alleged abductor into making a harsh decision or running with the child and negatively infect the investigation. So I look at the fact is that if I gain exposure for the missing child, is it going to help or is it going to hurt? From the media standpoint, I look at a case that's getting national exposure. They're on everything from their local network all the way up through national networks. They're getting exposure, they're getting their mentions, they're getting their face out there, they're talking about their story, and they're talking with investigators and talking with law enforcement to help that child. So I look at the fact that is our show, by gaining exposure, just a little bit more going to help or hurt that child and, and give me the opportunity to move on to another case that's not getting a ton of exposure. And that's what I look at, is there are cases out there that you may have never even heard of or only are being heard from a local standpoint or regional standpoint. I look at those cases and that's how between the two I choose to help gain exposure for a missing child's case here on The Missing. At this time I'd like to take the opportunity to show you the photographs of children that we've gained exposure for in the last 24 episodes. Please keep in mind that if you recognize one of these children please visit our website at www.themissing.tv there I'll have further information on their case, possible media links to get further details about their case, and contact information for the law enforcement agency that's investigating their case so you can report a sighting. So let's don't waste any more time. Let's review the cases of these missing children.
It's amazing that we've gained exposure for that many children right here on our show in just 24 episodes. Hopefully you recognize one of these children and you can help us bring them home safely. I'd like to say thank you to you, our viewers. Without you tuning in each and every episode, our program will not make the impact that it does in a child's life or their family's life. Also, I'd like to thank the individuals and companies who have come on board to help us produce this show and deliver it to you, our viewer. I'd like to say thank you to God. God has given me the talent and the opportunity to produce this show and deliver it to you, our viewers, at home. He has also provided me with the perseverance and the passion to help missing children. I'd like to say thank you to John Walsh. By having John involved in our program, adds legitimacy to our campaign and lets people know that we're here to achieve our goals. Also, I'd like to say thank you to Quiznos of Crossville and Hughes Real Estate Services. By them coming on board as advertisers allows us to purchase equipment and be able to maintain our studio so we can shoot each and every episode and deliver it to you at home. I'd like to say thank you to Dr. Stacy Carlton. Dr. Stacy Carlton provides us the opportunity to deliver our Dr. Stacy Safety segment with safety tips for your children and you to provide for them so you can keep them safe. Ben and Karen participate in our Dr. Stacy Safety segment. I'd like to say thank you so much for their talents to be able to produce these programs. Also, I'd like to say thank you to William Howe, a young hip hop artist who had contacted us and said, I've got a talent of being able to produce music and I'd like to be able to participate in your program. William has so graciously developed our title song as well as the song, Just Wanna Bring You Home, which we've played in past episodes. At this time, I'd like to say thank you to Virtual Set Works. Virtual Set Works is a company that has provided us here with our computer graphics to allow us to provide a more professional looking show to you, our viewer. I'd like to say thank you to Cardinal Computer. Cardinal Computer provides us with the hardware that allows us to edit our program. I'd like to say thank you to Tabor Consulting. Tabor Consulting works with us on providing us space for our website as well as work with us on technical issues online. I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank my family. I'd like to say thank you to my wife and our children. I know that I take time away from our family to be able to research these cases and be able to produce this show. I'd like to thank them for their time as well in helping us produce this program and deliver it to you, our viewer. I'd like to say thank you once again to each and every one of these individuals and companies for helping us produce our program because all together and your viewers makes a team that we can help make a difference in a missing child's life and work with their families to be able to bring their children home safely. Six-year-old Madison Jameson was last seen with her mom, Sherry Lynn Jameson, and her father, Bobby Jameson, on October 8, 2009, when they were leaving their home. On October 17, 2009, their pickup truck was found abandoned on Panola Mountain near Red Oak, Oklahoma, but authorities have no clue where they disappeared to. Madison was last seen wearing blue jeans with a long sleeve pink shirt with small flowers printed on it. She is three feet and 10 inches tall and her two front teeth are missing. If you have any information, please call nationally at 800-843-5678 or you can call the Latimer County Sheriff's Office in Oklahoma at 918-465-2161. Well, everyone, that brings the close to the 25th episode of The Missing. I really appreciate you tuning in and participating in our program. As I always say, keep your children educated, keep them protected, and continue to watch The Missing. I'm your host, Scott Davis. God bless. <laughs>